Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to check out the MJX Hypergo 4302 which is a lovely build Rally RC car which kind of resembles a famous brand which uh, I guess you will see, when, uh, you will recognize when you see it. So let's unbox this thing. As you can see it comes with two different bodies, I got the wonderful looking Rally body. It's a 114 scale and definitely has some weight to it. So let's open it up. So there it is, we'll have a look at the car later. You seem to have put in an extra fan, the remote, extra tires for drifting and off-roading. A screwdriver, a hex tool and the charger. Let's have a closer look at the remote. It feels very good in my hand and seems optimal for one-handed driving. You have a steering and a throttle trim but there's also a sticker warning you to never should you ever use the throttle trim only if necessary. You can set the power to 70% or 100%. And there is another button which seems to be for the light. Now for the car. Stickers, a sheet explaining how the gyro works or the um, um, uh, gyro or I don't know what they say. Gyro. I mean gyro. Some plastic foliage and the car itself and it's beautiful. Check out the shocks. Oh, your shocks feel really good. I really do like the looks of this RC car. It's not licensed, but it's clear to see where the inspiration is coming from. It does say angry snail on the side. <laughs> I like that. Let's see inside. Whoops. Guess I'll have to disconnect the LEDs. Front splitter and foam bumper. The tires feel pretty good. Now let's get off the dust cover. You can see it already has a fan installed, so I don't really know what the second one is for. And there goes all the wiring. In the front you can see the adjustable gyro, the fuser in the rear, metal CVDs in the back and front, adjustable tires I guess. And an aluminium brace bar. All of this is powered by a 3700 kV brushless motor and metal underneath and it seems pretty well manufactured. And double velcro straps for your LiPo with a Dean's connector or T-plug. Now let's turn this thing on. There you can see the fan in action. It looks great. It does have turning signals though, which in a rally situation you would need, but maybe you would also take it to traffic. It does go rather straight right out of the box. Now let's practice a little bit. Now 
let's slide into the montage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at this. The adjustable gyro set to 30% makes drifting look natural, it makes me feel like a pro drifter. Technically I could put 3S in the car, but it seems to be perfect the way it is. I hope you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing.